we're continuing Final Fantasy 16. We had just finished a bunch of side quests yesterday, and we're just about to pick up the main story again uh, and see what's going to happen with the engine that Mid is building, although I suspect that we're talking to Otto now that we're about to get sidetracked. All right, Clive. Astrid. Mid finished sending half the Ardaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Uh-oh. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. I might still be able to catch her. Wow, she's that afraid of it. That she'd just run away. Oh, that's terrible. Told me she was building a I mean, don't get me wrong, I sympathize, but Obelus. Have you seen Mid? Obelus. Yep. In a bunch. Going that way. As he doesn't right. point. You in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. Perfect. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. We Heard just got you? a letter. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? My dear boy, my journey to Canver has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings-on in the free cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I, for, though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two that he might keep a watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill and warn us of any impending attack. I trust you'll give this proposal your, your full consideration. That was fast. Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. Someone? I thought we were going after her. Now we know what she's up so to. What? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset. It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. <laughs> uh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. I love how, like, whenever he does a E sound, he's got a bit of a, a Geordie accent to him. No way! Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Hmm. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. I was wondering when Jill was going to come off the bench. Of, she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Don't be mad at Mid. She's just afraid. Oh. Sid's legacy. The dust long settled, little remains of the once bustling refuge many called home. Back to the old hideaway. Wow. They buried him in the blight? I mean, I get that that was where. Smile, thing. Mate, 
take my butt, thing. I get that that was where Sid built his little community and everything, but I don't think I would want to be buried in the blight. Um, she's doing okay. Uh, that first couple of days was a little rough, but she's doing much better now. Thanks for asking. Uh, how are you, Rocket? Are you getting anywhere with that, uh, potential job up in Connecticut, if you don't mind my asking? Well, good luck, Rocket. Well, Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. Say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Yeah, and killed himself in the, the process. Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? If I may give you a bit of advice on that one, um, we found the move up here kind of daunting with the two dogs. Like, we knew Chloe wouldn't be a problem. She just enjoyed the car, the car ride and eventually go to sleep. We went through that when we evacuated for Irma. Um, but Phoebe was the one that we worry would, like, hyperventilate herself to, to dehydration. Um... And that's why we got the we got the tramadol the the uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for not depression not depression um, to sedate the dogs it did not work on Phoebe that dog never laid down even once for the entire twenty hour trip uh, sedative thank you um, yeah. Um, but even so, you know, we made it. Now, four dogs is a little bit more of a handful than two. But even so, it surprised me how resilient they were about it. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. Was pretty it wasn't the most scenic view back then but it were never as bad as this i know the blight marches on and soon there'll be no escaping sights like these so our mission remains unchanged we cannot stop until every mother crystal is gone and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in storm is Drake's tail in the crystalline dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. 
It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would Solid indeed. plan. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man? Uh, look, I appreciate the offer of having a bodyguard, if that's what you're using Goots for. But the dude is massive. He's not cut out for a stealth mission. The twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a traveling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You'll break me bones, you great galoot. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like... There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just yeah. show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's the Ooh, that laugh is grating. Um... That is a risky move. Uh, I once had a boss who told me he he managed to elude police doing that just that very thing. He got off a exit on the highway ahead of them and pulled into the parking lot of a dealership, and the cops didn't see him do that, so they couldn't find him. Sure. Thank Bye. you, Karen. <laughs> and Ooh. glad to have you with us, Goot. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet you there. See you down in Bucklad. He's dragging her. <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Did you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Oh, she only gives me compliments not to my face, huh? A new area. Latinese Cliff, a narrow pass through otherwise impassable mountains thought to have been torn from rock by the very gods themselves. That's weird. Twelve bathrooms. That doesn't make any sense to me. I can't fathom why you would want that scenario. Maybe it was like Octomom or whatever, and she was sharing like four kids to a room, but they could each have their own bathroom. <laughs> How are you feeling? Okay. Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Torgal helped too, didn't you, boy? Yeah, I saw the the notice. There's one on the road here. Yeah, the I think that notice was about this. I didn't see any others on the map. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Sure. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. 
Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Uh, Martha's Rest. No. Yeah, the, the fast travel markers would have that little side quest marker if there was a side quest there. When you mentioned that new ones popped up, that's why I pulled up the map and looked around. Ah. Okay, magic dash, that's fine. Eh, what's the matter, you? So what do you think? That we'd be lucky to make... Really? It's as bad as that? Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome-looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? That would piss me off. Don't talk about me right right in front of me as if I'm not here. Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a snarling, he ran, leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. Oh, I know the work of thieves when I see it. My well, I mean, right it wouldn't surprise me if it's been picked clean when it was left alone. Estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just mm. down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true. We've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway, You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. <laughs> We're lucky you came along. Now, yeah, that makes a lot a more sense. In Bocklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. I... Get cart. That's the name of the quest, get cart. I'm not sure I trust those two. But yeah, I, there's something suspicious wait. about them. I should probably take... <laughs> Look lively, you lot. Oh, we've got guests. Hello, everyone. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Now I'll be able to see what he's doing. Oops, way too early. 
Too early again. She's upstairs, but uh, if I see her again, I will. That's them dealt with. Now, where's that card? Yeah, I, I wish you luck, Rocket. If uh, if there's any advice I can give, just feel free to reach out. I'd, I'll I'll do what I can. I will unfortunately not be around if you stream tomorrow. Ari and I are going to a renaissance fair in town to meet Doc. Oh, you look good. Rocket says hi. Hi, Rocket. I'm doing a job interview. How is hers? Uh, she's She's got an interview, too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good luck to the both of us. Woo! Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Oh, I don't trust you. Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how okay. exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part, and that's all you need to worry about here. There's just something about the tone of their voice that makes me not trust them. <laughs> like, like they're doing something on the sly while they ask me for help. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? Fair. Yeah, look at that renowned climb. Like a honey, like a honey pot. Yeah. when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. Okay. The path continues on the other side. Huh. I can't go down there, right? Okay. It looks like I should be able to. Nah, I'm okay with it the way it is. It doesn't bother me that badly. Oh, yeah. Oh, someone lived! I love just walking in there and just melting all the enemies around. It's so satisfying. Speaking of... Did I already upgrade that all the way? I know it's not mastered. Okay. Yeah. I did upgrade that. I really don't want to do Earth and Fury. Um. Magic Burst, no. Nah, I'll save them up for now. I have a feeling the next uh, the next icon I get, I'm really going to wish I had those points to just dump into its biggest ability right up front. A 
Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. The final sin. So this is a Megas. A land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. I mean, it's a very circular... It looks like a crater, but those waterfalls are beautiful. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. Oh, mid, we need you to make a submarine. Victorious. And punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. Hmm. To tell the truth. I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Five. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. Muy suspicioso. Yeah, I've. I've it, it came up in uh, Perm's chat this morning. The the reading thing. I don't. Or was it Dustin's? I don't recall. Um. It's been a long, long time since. Uh, Again? Oh, dude. Um, it's, it's like my package. It gives me stimuli. Doing all right. How are you, man? Uh, happy Friday. Um, it's been a long, long time since I sat down to distinctly read something. I think it was when the last Dresden book came out. I have the first couple of books of the Expanse. I need to sit down and read them. Um, it's hard for me to break away from the computer, like. I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm always at my computer. <laughs> I used to really be into audiobooks uh, when I used to commute to work. And then when I started working from home, I dropped it. Um, yeah, I, I should read more. I love reading. Huh. They're an acquired taste. They're, they're definitely an acquired taste, but I will say this. There's something odd about audiobooks where you can listen to them in the car and they don't distract you from the road. I don't know how your brain splits this way, but you're able to listen to an audiobook, follow the story, understand the story while fully paying attention to the road. I don't know how that happens, but it does. And uh, it, it's a bit of an acquired taste, but I really like it. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. 
I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrick. What is going on here? How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall By being a puppet of the Empress? Of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. It's like he doesn't even the care. The we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. This kid freaks me out. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. Oh boy. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieka made flesh. Mm-hmm. For a brief moment, I expected him to have a sword in that cane. Turn to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Come on, Father. Dion. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? Oh, you know of Ultima, do you? What nonsense is this? Because Joshua told him. I forgot about that meeting with Joshua. I speak my mind. And my mind only. <laughs> Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I like Dion, man. That dude's got brass cojones to stand up here and say that. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire. Forgive me. This all Dave! Is over. Long time no see, man. How Come you been? Your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? Wow. You just gotta twist the knife, do you? I suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? You know, it's been a while. I had forgotten a little bit 
how utterly like evil that woman was. And that stupid slur surly smile. I just want to reach through the screen and smack her. The Boklab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Oh, it's no worries, Dave. I just appreciate it if you get to come by and say hello every once in a while. It's good to see you. Kick up your feet, relax. Enjoy the derpishness. It's Friday night. Oh. You shall not eat my leg. Goodness, it's beautiful. Da, 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 da. Steps of the Forgotten. Uh, it's boy, it has been a hot minute, hasn't it? Um, infiltrating the Dominion won't be. What was the last one I got through? I literally forget the name of the last the one I did. On high alert. I know it wasn't Assassin's Creed Four. His radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Unity, side. yes. His troops are well trained in the increasing battle. Woo! Look, you can only expect me to remember so many things in a single stream. Like, I expended all of my brain power in remembering that Joshua had met with Dion. You can expect no more. Evidently, after not playing for a few days, I've completely forgotten how to dodge. Somehow I'm not surprised to hear that. Okay, it looks like we got a little bit of a caravan here. Let's call the Chocobo and look around a bit. Excuse me. Faster. I do remember uh, I I liked the way Unity looked. That they had put a lot of a lot of effort into making the faces seem more human. Uh, like graphically it was it was it pretty improved and I like the combat if the siege breaks I like the combat of unity agents marching on the capital but geez since then I have played through tears of the kingdom God of War Ragnarok I played R Ragnarok for a long time I finished Persona 5. Yeah. That's what I've played since then. Oh, I'm done for. I can't get these things done. Again. 
Speaking of Assassin's Creed, uh, is Mirage out yet? Ready, go. Run like the wind. Gotcha. Make sure I'm looking around so I don't miss one of those chronolith things that I still don't know what they're there for yet. Uh, come on, there you go. October 5th. Oh, so it's not that far away. I'll be curious to hear impressions about it. Not that I'll be playing it before like 2030 or something. <laughs> With how quickly I get through games and my choice of game. Refugees. Uh, what I will say, Ragnarok was amazing. Um, it uh, it was very difficult to play on. Give me God of War mode right up front, but it was a great game, easily worth full price. Although I understand at this point, if you want to wait for a sale, PlayStation's been pretty good about actually putting their games on sale. Unlike Nintendo, where I'd be willing to bet right now. That Super Mario Odyssey is still 60 bucks. Yep, 60 bucks. Nintendo never puts their games on sale. It's annoying. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. Wonder looks really interesting. It's been a long time since I've been into a 2D Mario game. Um, no need to ride from here. But it looks like it was designed by people on an acid trip. There Just no the craziest system. ideas. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Um... Ragnarok is just as good. If not actually a little better. It had one aspect to the game I wasn't that much of a fan of. But I don't recall exactly what that was. Um, oh, yes, I recall exactly what that was. And I won't tell you because it's a big, it's a big story spoiler. Um, but uh, it was still worth every dime. And then some. For hire. The best service at the best price. Others will carry off your fortune. I'll just carry your goods. Hurry, man. I must leave for the Dominion post haste. I am hurrying, my lord. Who wants to go to the Dominion? They're just busy fighting the Federation. Crews and caravans scooping up all the best customers. Leave some for the rest of us. Hmm. I wish to engage the Crimson Caravan services. Where's the proprietress? She's otherwise engaged at present, my lord. Come back later. Yoink. How'd it go? Uh, question. Okay. I didn't hear a word she just said. Hang on. Uh, if our new arrivals had brought any coin with them, we'd be rich. Excuse me for a quick moment, please. Okay, sorry about that. Ari did the, the kindness of giving me the update on her interview while she walked away from me and I couldn't hear a word sorry. she said. So I wanted to go after her and see what happened. Yeah, some people just can't get a purchase on the size audience that they're after or 
they go after it too hard and they burn themselves out. For me, I'm just happy that people show up and it's still a hobby for me, so I still enjoy it. Plus, there's still a lot of great games out there. I wish to engage oh, I talked to you. Okay. Oh. I can't. I almost went around the obelisk. You won't find a finer array this side of the strait. Oh, I forgot it's I got the potion upgrade choice. thing and didn't never restock. Many thanks. Um, you've a discerning eye. Uh, games I refuse to play but would be super fun Fair to watch. Way. Like what? Out of my sight. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap and nasty. No. Creatures and pairs. Forza would not be my cup of tea. Come one, come all, feast your eyes. I'm not playing poop in your soup. Sir, can I interest you in a th <sighs> Forza? No. How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. They are more than welcome to look. We did finish it! It was a shovelware game that was a buck and had three levels. It's done. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. Look, I'm not falling for this trick again. I have already agreed to do Alien Isolation next month with the mic detection on. That's your special request. It's done. Forbidden West was good. I've not played its DLC. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. And you know what the greatest part of this Alien Isolation request is? Is that it's been just long enough to scare me again for one. And two, the practical effect of me having the mic detection on is that I won't be talking most of the stream, which is what you guys wanted anyway. <laughs> Can't you make an Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go in and find good, shall we? But it should be fun. I just wish I didn't somewhere. have to play it on console. My peaches. They're sweet as nectar. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. There you go. Caravan stops next to the truck. Oh, be on your way. Ah, whatever. Baldy, pass me a sensor bean. What do you think? I'm just been a while. Because I'm not. <laughs> Birthday cake or dirty dishwasher? I did not miss this. <laughs> oh, 
I forgot about that. Right. There you are. Clive, I, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? What did you Slow do? Down, Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, Pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. And then a band bumped into me and... Oh, you got pickpocketed. You, you don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? There's a well, lot of probably. desperate people around here. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on around here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Jug of snake spit for the road? <laughs> There's the red chocobo. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Dang! We're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Just don't go, El. He's my mate. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. She put that together fast. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By a little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little Ben could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. You better not be about to tell me to hit the bricks. <laughs> not that anyone would take you for traders. Fair. But I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass. But I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Oh, for a second I thought we were going to go into a flashback Ever or something. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet, none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means... Hmm. That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. So it's a and forgery the ring. someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? 
You want to get your pass back. I mean, what is and that? We want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? Well, we could pay that 10 million gil. Not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. Uh, the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? Oh, Goots' voice really annoys me. So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. You would think a person like Clive would have some kind of pseudonym to go by when he's out and about. It's like James Bond going around telling everybody he's James Bond. The proprietor Bond. of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. I also find this seal thing interesting. I get one from every from every like trusted contact in every outpost I've ever been to in this game. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and are we collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Way to go, Goots. To back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Street rat! Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. Yep. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? Do you have any salmon? I love me some salmon. She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? I suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Now, I will get a wholly on board with tacos. Tacos are my favorite food. I love tacos. Uh, pizza is a second. Um, but I will, I'll admit, I know it's weird. I am rarely in the mood for steak, although I do cook a mean steak. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. Breakfast burrito. All right then, questioning children. How hard um, can that be? There. Before I moved, one of the favorite places I had to eat was Moe's Southwest Grill. I loved having Moe's for dinner. Like this really big burrito, just with with hot sauce and all that stuff in it, is so good. 
and we thought before we had moved up here that we had located a Moe's nearby, so I wasn't going to lose anything. Well, I don't know where Ari and I were, because there isn't a Moe's around here within like 60 miles, and it kind of bummed me out. <laughs> I won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. Clive, Clive, Clive. Did no one ever teach you to be circumspect? I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's... Picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. And Perm actually gave me a really idea, a really good idea for po uh, for stops next pockets time. for tacos a while back that I just love. Um, put jalapenos in your tacos. It doesn't have to be fresh jalapeno. You can just get, like, pickled jalapenos from the store or something. So good. Excuse me. What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... Snitches get stitches, girl. Doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. I hope she's not here... To lead people sniffing around to an ambush outside of town. I have a feeling Jill should be leading this inquiry. Like, getting that maternal instinct going might give her, would probably give her an edge in this interrogation. As opposed to Clive with his massive sword. Let's hope he's still nearby. Daddy, I'm hungry. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah, wish we hadn't handed over the pass though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit, we're in trouble now. What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't just start running Hansa, immediately. Where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. Can we show some freaking urgency here? These kids are wiry, man. No, They'll disappear. No need to find him before his employers do. You see a kid run it through here? A boy run past. He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. Um, see back here. Oh, oh shit, cornered. It's all right, Hansa. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. I'm just here to end your crime ring. I feel like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you. Welcome steal back, Earhead. Who are they? How are you tonight? Says the car stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. Have they? Bad, but it doesn't come for free. 
didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing. Great. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hansa. You found him then? Jill. No, the kid right in front of me is clearly a figment of your imagination. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you him! Goots, you are adding nothing to this conversation. Go away. Anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Oh, do we have a party? Cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Whoa, Wait, whoa, we're whoa, not... whoa. Don't hurt him. You're now say something. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brute. Where did you get it? <laughs> Master Theo. <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your Jumping sister? to conclusions, are we? Rocket, I have no idea what you're talking about. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Botlad their hunting ground. Hmm. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with guilt. Doesn't ring a bell. Without it into joining their flock. I've been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. I'm not they trying to blame him. Agreed to work for the stones some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. What? Where is it? Why why would you not just let me continue the quest if the next objective is literally just standing right in front of me? Okay. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders passed back. And I make Bog Lad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. That doesn't solve the refugee crisis, though. Ponza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. No, no it, it's really not. Hold on. I'll. I'll... Don't worry, Rocket. I'll take care of that for you. There we go. Let's come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. Don't know what you're talking about, Rocket. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Cleft is to the south, past the camp. Yeah. 
And good evening, Crackle. Is your bot working now? Oh, I know. I know. That's that then. Daddy. Feel free to enjoy the clips. I hope Sturf's doing okay. It's been a real long time since I've seen her around. Y'all about to get roasted. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should have minded your own. The likelihood of you dying violently within the next five minutes is 87.61%. Yeah, good. I doubt these are the ringleaders, but at least we know we're on the right track. Yeah, um... Yeah, evidently my bot had stopped working for the same reason, but I didn't know about it until this morning when uh, Richie told me that the bot hadn't announced that Dustin went live. Uh, I've got the bot running in a Docker container now. Uh, and the container automatically updates the bot if I restart it. So I restarted the bot just as a troubleshooting step, and when it came back up, it was on the updated version and announced just fine. I really love that Dockerized version of the bot. It's so good. Very little maintenance to it. We got company! If you have a uh, docker on it, yeah. Fewer now. Uh, I ran mine on my NAS because it it comes with uh, docker automatically on it. It was the most convenient means to do it. So I just put it on the NAS and that just makes it kind of foolproof from here on out. Um, it just got to the point where uh, my Raspberry Pi started becoming a little bit unreliable. Like it would stop responding on, on Wi-Fi every once in a while. And I was like, rather than just rebuild it and put reinstall Red back to it and reinstall Pi Hole, and all, I'll just put it on my Docker containers and call it done. Uh, the one that I'm using is Phase Core X's Docker, uh, Docker container. Today, eh? It's not officially supported, but it works really well. Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural-born ne'er-do-wells. Especially the little ones. And Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Fuck! It's that guard from Falkland! Kill him! Kill uh. them all! I wasted my limit break doing this. Okay. I may have to stop it early. That's fine. Oh, 
Come on, hit me. Uh, oh, he actually hit me. What are you gonna do, stab me? <laughs> Guy who got stabbed. Oh, that gurgling sound I could have done without. Been a while since I gotten a lit gotten in any practice with that Titanic block. Huh. And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' purses. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. For we those to whom you can identify. Please. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and uh Alvin sure Simon the part Theodore. We'll be glad to. Let's go! Fly, Ambrosia. All right. Screw the chocobo thing. I'll just fast travel back there. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Not uh, not since he tried to kill me. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. Until someone else has the same idea. Whenever you run into a, a group of people desperate for money, you'll run into someone ready to start a crime ring to exploit them. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom... Welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on. Why you? don't I hold on to that? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Sid. Well, this is awkward. Don't look so sh That's a good point. I had literally just mocked the fact that Clive is introducing himself as Clive when really Sid is the name that everyone knows. Locked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we'll move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. 
It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? Sure. It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. A crimson compass? What is it? El has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. The collar and compass. Interesting. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish. The only thing I don't like about the seal system, besides the fact that it's an interesting way of doing friendship referrals, I kind of wish they were showing them somewhere on Clive, like if he was wearing them on a belt or had them on his collar like a pin or something. Like, I wish they were visible somewhere. To a safe onward journey. Goots's pass should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say, nine million? Oh, don't we'll break your back helping me out. The caravan. Yeah, but that's that's precisely the point I'm making. I mean, I get it. It's kind of like the uh it's kind of like the trainer's badges in Pokemon. You don't see them, but they're there and it's a point it's part of your progress in the game and all that stuff, but it'd be great if like you saw them somewhere as you progress through the game. By order of the Board of Delegates, is the bearer of this token bestowed all rights and permissions merited a Dominion Merchant. Breath of Lightning, Thunderstorm, cooldown. I don't like these cooldown reduction ones. I know I use one of them for, like, the, mo the ability I use the Let's most. But... And then it's on to the Dominion. Out of my sight, wretch! No, but even just a visible sign that he was actually carrying them, besides just... Oh, I shove them into my butthole inventory and then they disappear forever until an NPC says they see it. The caravan stops next to Juicy What I really want to be is a blacksmith. You're gonna do an apprenticeship or something then? Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. <laughs> Yoink. Cass! You found it! Oh! Thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. O's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. Oof. It's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. And you won't be arrested for doing it. You stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Nah, that's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well. Eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm going to be your first customer. I'm going to save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? <sighs> You're right. We removed the Twitter thing because Twitter, or excuse me, X, is a massive freaking cesspool right now. Yo, Twitter. Thank you. Done. How to take a massive social media company and ruin it for everyone by Elon Musk. All right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots. 
We're mercenaries. You hired us to protect you. But mercenaries... <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. That green collar around his neck looks like it's made of fondue or something. It doesn't belong like any, it doesn't behave like any clothing material I've ever heard of. It's supposed to be part of a hoodie or something. Certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sambrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. Okay, number one, you didn't go back as you were ordered to. Number two, I'm glad you're listening to Joshua. And number three, how can you freaking say it's had no influence? Your father gave up his throne to a child. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. As far as everyone knows, he's a, a child. that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil in pursuit of your brother but that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot then I have your answer your highness you will join me in my fight I cannot not yet your highness please as you are aware the Dalmechian army is at our gates they have lost their mother crystal and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal it is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machin. The texturing on that mug looks amazing. It looks real. Like the reflections off of like the bronze or copper or whatever that is, it looks so good. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. They have focused on that flower a what lot. Do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. That his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. Yeah, we saw that scene. And they have ears too. 
You have been feeding them your lies. Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. B.S. Fork-tongued witch! <laughs> In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. I really hope I get to kill her. Man, the story in this is so good. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. But you're making it worse by Forgive playing me. your part. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. I like Dion. Why is he wearing... Oh. Thank you. Your Highness. Mm. He's a... Of course he's afflicted. He's a dominant. I was like, why is he wearing a dress shirt over gauntlets? Because he's got that... Like, he's turning into stone too. Let us take to the skies together, and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. What a horrible fate for the Dominants. They're just tools to be used. They're not respected for their power. They're, they'd mean nothing as individuals. They're just tools. Like, the people of leadership look at a dominant the way a, ho a homeowner looks at a lawnmower. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. Yeah, I know. It's just so weird to... Like, normally when you think of a slave class, you know, you think of those who are powerless, who have been usurped for for the ends of another person against their will but the dominants and the bearers are kind of different they're slaves with power and it is that power that puts them in the slave class it's a little weird but it's just it's just terrible to look at another human being that way and just be like you are lesser than me particularly someone who could whoop your butt with magic or a dragon and just be like, yeah, you're lesser than me. Go dance in the square. It's just so weird. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the empire restored. Good luck with that, Dion.
All right, I'm going to take a brief AFK. I'll be back in a moment. I know Rocket said I'm about to go long, and I totally expect that. But uh, I need to take a brief AFK. BRB. All right, let's keep going. The crystals are beautiful. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. And they're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? Plenty. The harbor is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. <sighs> I hope Gav's not in trouble. Oh, the Dalmachians are invading now? Nice jump. This way. Torgal jumped up like an entire floor and a half. Yeah, get your Ezio on. Let's go. The sky. The city's on fire. But Shogun's is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? It's so pretty. Uh oh. This balcony? Is it? Where am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> Being on the rooftop put me in Ezio mode hardcore. I was like, just jump across. If only there was something on the screen. Sentry is to be slain on sight. By the citizen. His Highness's orders were clear. The people Those were Imperial Dragoons. Oops. going on let's go and see what about your build
Hey, Gilly! Have fun! Oh, boy. But first, we find goats. I just hope he's all right. You there! <sighs> Identify yourself! We have to. Nah, this is my identity. Come at me, I know you do. Yoink. Oh. Dodge too early. Waited just a moment too late to dodge that. I really hope I don't end up fighting Dion right now. I have a feeling fond is meant sarcastically. Ah, a good lift. 
Yeah, this is giving me serious Assassin's Creed vibes right now. Trying to use lunge more. Intruders! This might take a while. Clear out some of this trash. That'll work. I like how this one lone soldier survived. a moment too late. I'm waiting just a moment too late for some of my dodges. It's an instinct I really need to get away from. Damn it. We'll have to find a way around. There we go. Plenty of stuff to climb. Let's go. Ah. How late am I going to end up going? In the name of his highness. thinking about it because what I what I don't want to run into I wound up going like a half hour over because of Titan um, yeah I really want to keep going but I think I am going to I think I am going to go ahead and call it a night here then just to be safe.